Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just recently, a powerful 7.6 magnitude earthquake rocked Davao Oriental, followed by a 6.9 magnitude quake that was felt strongly in Cebu. It seems like every year, the Philippines is shaken by significant tremors. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why does our beautiful country experience so many earthquakes? Is it just bad luck? Or is there a powerful scientific reason behind it all? Today, we're diving deep into the heart of the Earth to uncover the truth. We LL explore the incredible geological forces that make the Philippines one of the most seismically active countries in the world. And trust me, the answer is more fascinating than you might think. It's all about our unique location on the planet. Picture this. The Earth's surface isn't one solid piece broken up into massive, continent-sized slabs of rock called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, drifting around on the semi-molten layer beneath them, known as the mantle. Now, think about what happens when these colossal plates interact. They can collide, slide past each other, or one can dip beneath another. All of this movement creates immense stress in the Earth's crust. When that stress is suddenly released, it sends out shock waves, and that's what we feel as an earthquake. So, where does the Philippines fit into this global puzzle? We're located right in the middle of some major tectonic action. The Philippines sits on its own smaller plate, called the Philippine Sea Plate. But here's the crucial part. We are squeezed between two massive tectonic plates. To our east, we have the gigantic Pacific Plate, and to our west, the vast Eurasian Plate. This puts us in a highly active and complex collision zone. It's like being caught in a slow-motion cosmic traffic jam, and the Philippines is right at the intersection. This is why we're part of the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire. It's a massive, horseshoe-shaped zone that stretches around the Pacific Ocean. And it's where about 90% of the world's earthquakes occur. It's also home to most of the world's active volcanoes. But that's a story for another day. Our position on this ring means that seismic activity isn't just a possibility, it's a certainty. Let's get more specific. The Philippine Sea Plate is moving northwestward. It's crashing into the Eurasian Plate. As it does, it's being forced underneath it in a process called subduction. Imagine one giant conveyor belt diving under another. This creates a deep underwater trench to our west the Manila Trench. At the same time, on our eastern side, the Pacific Plate is pushing westward, and the Philippine Sea Plate is being forced under that too, creating the Philippine Trench. These trenches are the deepest parts of the ocean and are direct evidence of this intense subduction. All this pushing, grinding, and subducting creates a complex network of faults all across the Philippine archipelago. A fault is basically a crack in the Earth's crust where rocks on either side have moved. We don't just have the major trenches offshore. We have a whole system of active faults running through the islands themselves. One of the most significant is the Philippine Fault System, a massive 1,200-kilometer-long fracture that runs from Luzon all the way down to Mindanao. Many of the most destructive inland earthquakes have originated along this very fault. So, whether the shaking starts deep under the sea or right beneath our feet, it's all part of the same dynamic geological story. Now, let us put this into perspective by looking at some of the most powerful earthquakes in the country's recorded history. The Philippines has a long, tragic, and resilient history with earthquakes. While it's difficult to definitively rank them all, especially those from centuries ago, we can look at the ones that had the most significant impact in terms of magnitude and destruction. Let's start with one of the most devastating. On August 17, 1976, a catastrophic event unfolded. An earthquake with a magnitude of 8.0 struck the Moro Gulf in Mindanao. This wasn't just a quake. It triggered a massive tsunami. Waves as high as 9 meters crashed into the coastlines of the Zambo Anga Peninsula and nearby islands. It was a tragedy of immense proportions, claiming thousands of lives and leaving tens of thousands homeless. 
The Moro Gulf earthquake is a stark reminder that for an island nation, the danger often doesn't end when the shaking stops. Jumping forward to more recent memory, many of us will never forget July 16, 1990, a magnitude 7.8. Earthquake ripped through Luzon. Its epicenter was near the town of Rizal, Nuva, a Sija, but its destructive power was felt far and wide. The city of Baguio was hit particularly hard. Buildings, hotels, and homes collapsed, trapping countless people. The roads to the mountain city were cut off by landslides, making rescue efforts incredibly difficult. The 1990 Luzon earthquake became a defining moment for a generation, highlighting the urgent need for better building codes and disaster preparedness. Then, there's the 2013 Bay Hall earthquake. On October 15th, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck the island of Bahal. What made this quake particularly memorable was its shallow depth, which meant the shaking on the surface was incredibly intense. Centuries-old churches, cherished as national cultural treasures, crumbled to the ground. The landscape itself was transformed. With the ground rupturing and creating a new fault wall, now known as the North Bahal Fault, it was a powerful demonstration of how earthquakes can reshape our world in an instant. Of course, there are others. The 1968 Kasiguran earthquake, a magnitude 7.6 event, famously caused the collapse of the Ruby Tower in Manila, highlighting the vulnerability of urban centers, even to distant quakes. And going way back in history, the 1897 earthquake in northwestern Luzon, estimated to have a magnitude of 7.5, caused widespread damage and ground liquefaction. Each of these events, including the recent tremors in Davao, Oriental, and Cebu, are not isolated incidents. They are all connected to the same relentless geological engine that powers the Philippines. They are the Earth's way of reminding us of the immense forces constantly at work beneath our feet. So what can we do? We can't stop the tectonic plates from moving. Earthquakes are a natural and unavoidable part of living in the Philippines. But that doesn't mean we are helpless. Knowledge is our greatest defense. Understanding why these quakes happen is the first step toward building a more resilient nation. This means investing in science and technology. We have organizations like the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVLs, that work around the clock. They monitor fault lines, record seismic activity, and issue warnings. Their work is absolutely critical. Supporting their research and heeding their advice is essential for our safety. It also means focusing on engineering and architecture. The lessons learned from tragedies like the 1990 Luzon earthquake led to stricter building codes. We need to ensure these codes are properly implemented and enforced. Retrofitting older buildings to make them more resistant to shaking is a massive but necessary task. When building our homes and cities, we have to build with the understanding that the ground will shake again. And most importantly, it's about personal preparedness. Every single one of us needs to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Do you have an emergency kit at home? Do you have a family plan for where to meet if you get separated? Do you know the drop, cover, and hold on procedure? These simple preparations can make all the difference. Participating in earthquake drills at school or work isn't just a routine, it's practicing a life-saving skill. Living in the Philippines means living with this reality. It's a part of our identity, forged in the fire of the Pacific Ring. But our story isn't one of fear, it's one of resilience. Time and time again, after every disaster, we see the Filipino spirit shine through. We see neighbors helping neighbors, communities coming together to rebuild, and the unbreakable will to stand back up. That is our true strength. The earth beneath us may be restless, but the spirit of the Filipino people is unshakable. By understanding the science, respecting the power of nature, and preparing ourselves, we can continue to live, thrive, and build a safer future here in our beautiful, dynamic, and lively home. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you understand the powerful forces that shape our country. If you found this interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up 
and do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next deep dive. Stay safe, stay informed, and always be prepared. See you in the next video.